Hi, I'm over to all seeing camera. We are back to the channel with another one. Today we're here for something special. I told you guys to be watching my snot, snot featuring ASAP Rocky Dojo. We said it right there. We ended up selling this off white shirt. I was kind of happy, but I was mad. I was kind of happy, but I was mad. I was like, damn, I don't want to sell the tea. Literally, I don't know if you guys sell clothes. Anyone here resells, but anyone that resells, you ever had like a change of heart? And you, you ever had an item that been up forever and the day you have a change of heart, you're like, yo, after I finish doing this video, I'm gonna take it down. Bro, I was mid video ASAP Rocky. And I was like, I'm gonna take that shit down. Boom, my shit. So like bro it's been on there for a month it's been on there for a month and it's so now like nah that's crazy but before we ship it off let's unbox it and let's go through the t-shirt so the shirt we sold was off-white spring summer 21 blue marker tee it was a short sleeve t-shirt yep actual name of the shirt is blue marker ss over t white ss 21 off-white men designer all right, let's go through this tea. I'll tell you guys how much we paid for it. And I'll tell you guys the resale, how much I sold it for. I literally put it for a high number on StockX thinking it wasn't gonna sell for that. I just wanted to track sales and just keep my eye on it to see if the sales were building up. And it ended up selling for the number that I put. I was like, mother freaker. We have the off-white logo that we've been seeing. I love that. I actually saw a beanie that I want that's actually on sale because we're getting into summertime and I might have to cop it from this season. The all-black beanie, if you guys seen it with this same thing in the front, but in white on a black beanie, super fun. I love it. I love it. Silhouette of a person just looking like a mime frozen in time. I love it. Off white and then on the back and then on the back we have the design here which is the off white blue marker tee. It also came out in a couple different marker colors. We'll go through and go over those. I just have to look them up but I remember the when I was going through the one that I loved the most was the blue marker and I was like it's very versatile. I can wear this with many different things. It has different shades of blue. I love it. I was gonna wear it with my I was gonna wear this with a couple sneakers no bullshit. I was like yo this summer I'm killing this. No, This summer I'm wearing this all summer. No bullshit. I was wearing this all summer. If you guys can see on the top inside tag for off-white inside the collar guys if you're new to this channel one thing you're gonna one thing you're gonna find out is we zoom up at the end on all the details on the shirt i'll go over the graphics i'll show you guys how it actually looks like a marker going down on the t-shirt i'll show you guys all that i'll show you the tags just in case if you're sold a boofu one a fake one you come here you can compare it before you buy it i'm trying to save you guys from getting burned and then on the bottom left hand corner these are where the off-white tags come on with the little off-white ziplock that we like we love to see just a smaller version than the sneakers orange once again i'm not gonna lie do you guys leave this on i was gonna leave it on in my tea i'm not gonna hold i was gonna leave it on in my tea i see some people leave it on i see some people take it off i was gonna leave it on i'm not gonna hold you only thing is this shit's a booklet it's kind of heavy like <laughs> It's kind of heavy, no bullshit. Like, can I open the Ziploc, take some things off, and just leave the front and the back? But in here is just a verification for the shirt. We see the back, the serial number for the shirt, shirt size, barcode, and all. Tells you about off-white little booklet inside. The front of it, it's dope as well. We see the off-white logo, the silhouette again. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm mad this shirt was sold. I'm mad this shirt was sold. Do you guys want to know how much I paid for it? Well, let me first tell you retail on the shirt. Is it, oh, price tag right here on the collar of the shirt. Retail for $335, $335, $335 for the shirt, $335. Also, one thing that I went over quickly is there's a TM on the top right-hand corner, which again, you guys know in this channel, we'll zoom up, so don't worry too much. And we also do try on, so I'm gonna try it on right after this. But shirt was $335, I paid $260 for it. 260 for it. 260 for it. Now, do you guys want to know how much I sold it for? <laughs> I sold it for $390. Bro, the last sale was like $290 something on StockX. So I was like, I right, bet. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm not exactly sure on the number, but we could open StockX. It just wasn't nothing too, too crazy and nothing too recent that sold. So I was like, bet. I can track it by putting it up for like, I was going to put it up for like $400. I put it up for $390 for some reason. Just threw it up there. I was tracking it. It's been there for like a month. I just wanted to see if the value was going up, going down. Yeah, no, nah, no bullshit, bro. I'm the highest sell ever on this shirt. I made, I made the, you know how like StockX tells you the stock went up or down? Bro, the stock went up a hundred and oh what a hundred and three dollars due to my sale. That's what I'm saying. I didn't think it was gonna sell. First sale ever of this shirt was 710 at 4 a.m. It sold for 300 Then 235 on the 22nd of July. Then 241 August. 252 Then 200 flat, which is the lowest sale ever. That's a crazy deal. 200 flat. Uh, 200 flat in September. December, it went up to 280s. That's when it was in the 287. And then it didn't sell again from September. And then it just sold yesterday at 7.15 p.m. As we were doing the... Bro, I'm saying R.I.P. Virgil at 
at the end of the doja video and then boom off white t-cells but um yeah i sold it for 390 390 highest sale ever i got the highest sale on stock x see if we can find any more information about it on the little description yeah highest sale last 12 months was me 390 lowest 200 trade range 330 to 447 yeah no nah, just shirt color white and blue retail price 320 season ss 21 and then at, let's do a quick try on the shirt after we do a try on you guys know i'll zoom up detail show you guys all the tags i'll show you guys the artwork inside tags uh even the hanging tags that it has on it with the little with the zip tie i'll show you guys all that but let's first do a try on and guys right before we do the try on let me just remind you guys like the video subscribe to the channel we are on the road to 2,000 subs 2,000 subs we are on the road <sighs> All right, guys, check out the off-white tee. This is the front of the shirt. One thing I'm gonna let you guys know off the rip, this is the first off-white shirt I've ever bought for myself. One thing I did notice going forward is that size large is just too big for me. I usually wear size large and Supreme and mostly a lot of my other t-shirts because I like the space, but this size large fits me like an extra large tee. So going forward, any off-white shirt I buy, I'm buying a medium. Unless if it's a collab with Nike or something, maybe I'll change it. If it's off-white straight, we're buying a medium. Look at this. It's it, you, This is usually how extra large sleeve tees fit me. I usually like my tees to fit me like right about there. I will, I'll say like right there. Same thing for length. The length is really long. I'm not even sure if the end of this is in the shot. But if it's not, if you could see, I mean, I mean, I like the shirts to end like at least right here. So I think next time we're going to try out a medium. But you guys let me know. Some people do like the oversized tee look. And that's the look that I would have went with if I would have kept this shirt. I would have just wore it as an oversized tee. But that's, this is the back of the shirt. And you just saw the front. This is the back. I am 6'2", basically 6'3". I'm like centimeters away. But 6'2", we'll say to be fair. 175 pounds. Size large, just a little bit too long for me. And I have really long arms. So if you're a, if you're a short guy... Try to see if the medium hopefully is wide enough to fit you because I think that the sleeves are going to be way too long if you're little, if you're short, like you're short and chubby or short and fat. This, if you're short and you got little ass arms, a large is going to fit you like a quarter sleeve shirt. Like, you know, like the baseball tees is going to fit you like that. I suggest go down a size. Whatever size you usually wear, look at your Supreme size, you wear a large, whatever you wear, I would go a size down. That's what I would say. I usually wear size large, everything we try on this channel, but this one, going to be a medium going forward. Once again, one last spin. This is the back. Oh, wait. I don't know if I got the tag blocking it, but that's the back. It's the black. This is the blue marker tee. How do you, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Shirt sold for three ninety. I actually have to take it off. Go drop it off right now. And another thing is, since the shirt's so long, remember I told you guys, like, yo, this is dope. I would have left on the Ziploc, which is the little off-white look that people usually like. But the thing is, it, this tee is so long on me that if I was to leave this, I would probably be sitting on it or pulling it along. Bro, this is smacking. It's so This tee is so long on me that the back of this is smacking the back of my calf. Like, the back of my calf muscles getting slapped with that. So that definitely would have been annoying walking around. Actually, nah, because it's, it's on the side of me. It's when I do a special turn or I look back, it slaps right, me, right in the back of the calf. You guys let me you know what do you think about the tee did you buy the blue marker tee did you get it in another did you get a marker tee just in another color let me know shirt just sold now for 390 so i actually have to take this off and go drop it off let's do the zoom up details if you guys like this video like down below comment down below how you feel more importantly than anything at the end of the day this is beautiful streetwear and we love it but the one thing we can never get back is virgil r.i.p virgil r.i.p virgil the years you had on this earth and the years you had designing you made your legacy that's unforgettable we will speak about you for eternity you're you're considered as an icon today and for sure in the fashion world you've done things that we thought would be impossible like to see you inspired brands like dior to go collab with jordan i think they just seen the success of off white and that's why all these other brands want to jump in as well guys comment down below and let me know how you feel make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel and let's go do the zoom up detail and then after that like i love to say until the next one we out it what is this